25,000. 25,000 daily steps on average. Maybe that's not a lot for you, but I go to anime conventions. <laughs> Hello there, I'm Darnell and welcome to my channel. Normally I talk about things like anime or video games, but today's a little bit different. I want to talk to you about the Anime North convention. Anime North is an annual convention held usually around the end of May. This year it was May 26th to May 29th, Friday to Sunday, and it's held at the Toronto Congress Center. My ticket was around $74.49 for all three days. You can get tickets for every individual day, but each of the tickets is like $50. It's kind of not worth it unless you're going Saturday, but we can talk about that after. If you don't know what Anime North is, it's basically what it sounds like. It's an anime convention held in Toronto, Ontario for anime fans, video game fans, comic book fans, all the like. And I usually go there every year, but this is the first time I've ever gone and I also have a YouTube channel to talk about it. We're just going to explore what that experience is like together. And maybe if you live in Toronto or Maybe you've been wanting to go to a convention. You can see if this is the right one for you. So first thing to note is Anime North is kind of like a shopping convention. And what I mean by that is that what you're paying for on the ticket is access to the convention center. And the only thing you can really do in there is just really shop. <laughs> uh, there are some fun events that you can do. There's like robot battles and you can shoot an arrow at a guy for 10 bucks for 10 shots. But for the most part, what you're going there for is buying merchandise of characters that you like. And inside the actual convention center, there are two different areas to buy things. There's the vendors hall, which is filled with manufactured goods, things that are bought wholesale and then sold to you, the consumer. And then there is artist's alley, things that are made and designed by the artists actually selling them. They're handmade. They can be like cross-stitched or woven or whatever. But for the most part, they are made by the people that you are seeing in front of you. And if that interests you, there they are. You're basically just going there to shop for all the nerdy things that you want. Whether that be like VTubers or some guy live painting a bunch of Avatar The Last Airbender characters. It's kind of just a nice feeling, but that's basically what it's there for. There's a little area on the side, the gaming hall, where you can play Magic the Gathering or D&D with other people. But it's kind of off to the side and, you know, if that's what you're into, you can go ahead and do that. But there's not a lot of space dedicated to it. And it's kind of obvious that the whole point of the convention is just shopping. But if you don't like shopping, then golly gee, are you in for a treat? Because everything outside of Anime North is super cool and interesting and you don't have to pay for any of it. What I mean by that is there are things like panels held by YouTubers, which by the way, <laughs> I missed both panels by the YouTubers that I enjoy, Miss Yasmin and Mr. Jeffrey of Best Girls Basement and Mother's Basement respectively, <laughs> because I had to go to work. Uh, <laughs> sucks to suck, but that's how the cookie crumbles. But there are panels by YouTubers, VTubers, you know, people who like anime and video games and all that stuff and live in the area. They usually invite people like that or like voice actors. And also they have fun little events like there's a cosplayers event where you can take pictures with other cosplayers from franchises that you like. One of my friends had gone to the Critical Role cosplay event. By the way, if you're into Critical Role, there's not a ton of stuff there. There are maybe three booths I saw that sold like Critical Role like posters or little keychains and stuff like that but there was the actual cosplay event and you could see cosplayers like join together and do scenes from the actual show and stuff like that and from what he told me yeah it was pretty cool but let's talk about the actual experience there because what you can do and what is actually available to you are two very different things so the first day i went to anime north was the friday me and my friends got there maybe like an hour late and normally registration is a nightmare I remember my first Anime North ever, and the registration took us like three hours. We were waiting in line. My friend's mom had to go and buy us dinner while we were waiting in line because we didn't actually expect that it would take so long. But thankfully, this one took us like 30 seconds. There was literally zero line. We walked in. We were able to get a registration, our badges and stuff like that, and just, you know, walk around like normal. But that's where the first problem arises, the lines. Friday only, I'm not entirely sure what happened. But I guess that they were just completely unprepared for the amount of people that were there. There was a gigantic line that stretched all the way around the entire area. And it took us like 40 minutes to actually get into the convention center. Thankfully, on Saturday and Sunday, this was not a problem. Not entirely sure what happened. They just figured out how to do it better. But it was basically a non-issue on the other days. Despite the fact that Saturday was probably the busiest day, there were so many people there that day. But... There were zero problems with the line and stuff like that. So one of the things I mentioned earlier that you should be prepared for is just walking around. There is so much walking to do. I mean, that's all you're basically doing. You're walking around shopping. You're walking around going to the hotels to see what events there are. You're walking around and taking pictures of cosplayers, trying to get to the nearest washroom or 
get water. It's all just walking around. There are no places to sit in the convention center except for the gaming area where all the D&D players are or Magic the Gathering or Warhammer guys. So you're basically just on your feet for most of the time. Friday for me was mostly a scout day. And what I mean by that is I like just scouting the area and seeing what I want to buy on Sunday because Sunday is when they drop all of the prices because, you know, that's when the convention ends and everybody has to leave. So I just like using Friday to scout. And that's exactly what I did. We just walked around for a while. One of my friends did the shoot the arrow at the guy thing. <laughs> You're not actually shooting at a guy. Later on, one of the actual instructors put on a suit and you could shoot at him. But when, when we got there on Friday, it was just a bunch of dummies. I'm not entirely sure how the law works with regards to you shooting arrows at a dude. Uh, but it was there. You could have you could have done it on Saturday or Sunday. Uh, <laughs> we met some nice cosplayers, took some pictures with them. There was a giant Eevee I take a picture with that I am super proud of. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if there was a person in that suit. I hope to God not, because that suit was there every single day in the same spot, just standing there. And I'm like, if you're a person in there, it has to be like a thousand degrees because you're in a gigantic suit sitting in the same spot just having people take pictures with you. And but by the way, it was super hot every single day, unfortunately. I feel really bad for the cosplayers because, my God, it was boiling outside. And by the way, if you are in a cosplay, do not rely on public transit to get there. It's like a tuna can taking the bus to get to Anime North. I would recommend just getting a hotel there or the more obvious answer of driving there because you just get squished and crushed <laughs> in the tuna can that is the bus. I have just major respect for anybody cosplaying. Not just because of the amount of skill and time and effort you have to put into your cosplays, but just the fact that it's like 27 Celsius and you're in a Guts cosplay in all black armor with a gigantic sword. And I'm just like, I'm on fire right now. How are you surviving? Uh, so just mad respect to everybody who did a cosplay there. And also thank you to everybody who took a picture with me and my friends. <laughs> that That's also very sweet. If it's your first time going, uh, please remember like etiquette, just like basic etiquette. These people are dying of heat and walking all day so you know just be courteous and kind to these people because they really do just sacrifice for us <laughs> also if you're a cosplayer there is a little repair area inside the convention center it's one area and it's right in the middle of the entire convention so it's sort of hard to miss but like you know if you break your cosplay at one end of the convention center you have to walk all the way to the middle keep that in mind <laughs> it is completely viable for you to not pay any money and just hang out outside the convention centers maybe go to the panels see the youtubers see the voice actors do all the photo ops and all of that stuff that is completely viable but keep in mind if you do break a cosplay the only way to repair them are inside the actual convention center but uh speaking of the convention center i would never ever recommend sneaking in to a convention center but uh, on Saturday, I, I vividly remember there were so many people walking in. I remember hearing a security guard just say like, oh, just let him in. Stop checking because it, it's impossible with the amount of people just rushing in. And the fact that there are just two security guards in this wide area who have to like check every single person. They just kind of give up. Uh, I would never endorse a sneaking in, but you know, <laughs> I'm just saying some people might have. But Saturday is basically the day that everybody comes usually the day that sells out of individual day tickets as well because you know it's the day that's easiest for everybody to come for whatever reason maybe you have school or work or whatever but that's the day every single person is there it's also the longest day usually anime north goes from like friday it's five to ten and then and sunday it's like 10 or 11 to 5 but on saturday it's just like 10 to 10 just 12 straight hours basically of convention and so basically everybody is there doing whatever that's when the most panels are scheduled that's when all of the events are happening that's when all the hotels are having their big events like the valorant tournament and stuff like that it's the day to go but that also means that there's the most people there something i have to mention about anime north the smell it's 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 kind of cliche <laughs> to say it but yeah a lot of smelly people there. Please shower, use soap, uh, put on deodorant, perfume, cologne. I don't care. Just please do something because, my God, all those people smushed into the small area of wherever you are, whether it's watching the Dragon Ball Z movie in the hotels or something. It is just, you can smell whatever the worst smell in there is, and it's, it's not good. But anyways, Saturday was the day that me and all my friends decided to go to all the events. We saw 
the Dragon Ball Super Heroes movie, which, by the way, great movie. Just to rest our weary legs after hours and hours of walking, that was pretty nice. And we didn't go to any panels because we didn't really plan for it beforehand. If you're, like, a planner person, I recommend just seeing, you know, what seems interesting to you and planning your day out. For me and my friends, we kind of just winged it and, and walked around and saw, hey, you know, what are they doing at this time? Is it, is it interesting to me? And we went to it. We went and visited the hotels, which is where all of the events are held at. You know, the convention center is where all the shopping is outside with the hotels nearby is where all of the actual events are held. There's the Delta Hotel and the Sheraton Hotel. The Delta Hotel is kind of impossible to miss because it's right across the street and it says Delta on it. But the Sheraton Hotel, I can forgive you if you don't really know where that is. It's down the street. You have to walk like a block and there's a big hotel that says Sheraton on it. And that's where they have like the Valorant tournament. There's a DDR machine. Me and my friends went to this little area where they have a bunch of consoles set up. And they're like, hey, here's a list of video games. Just let us know what game you want to play and you can play it completely for free, of course. All of the stuff that is outside of the actual convention center is usually free unless, you know, you're buying food, which, by the way, we did buy food on Saturday at one of the food trucks. Uh, do not do it. It is absolutely not worth it. I paid it $20 for a personal pizza the size of like my hand. It, by the way, I'm five foot three. My hand is not very large. Uh, short Kings, uh, we love you. But uh, yeah, $20 for a pizza. That's about this big. Just absolutely not worth it. And I mean, you, of course, you know that. Just in case you thought maybe, you know, they wouldn't raise the prices that high. Yeah, it was not a lot of pizza for a lot of price. The food there is admittedly good, but I'd recommend just walking maybe a block or two and finding a restaurant that doesn't have jacked up prices. Or if you have a car, driving to a restaurant because it is just much more worth it. <laughs> but if you really do not want to leave the area of the convention, then yeah, you're going to be paying for that out of your pocket. But Saturday, very fun day. If you want to come for just one day, I recommend Saturday being that day just because it has the most things going on and probably the most things that'll interest you. Sunday is by far the chillest day. There's basically no people there. Not to say that there's nobody there, but it's a stark contrast from Friday and Saturday. It's like 50% of the people are there from the other days. I wasn't particularly on the lookout for it, but according to Girl DM, there was a ton of VTuber merch and a bunch of VTubers apparently were also there. So, you know, if you're into that, there are VTubers there and there is VTubing merch there as well. Other types of merch that might interest a specific audience, they have like cosplays you can buy. I say cosplays because it's like an Akatsuki cloak or something. You can also buy like furry stuff. There were like furry tails and furry ears and stuff like that. If you're into that kind of thing, they have it. But Sunday is basically your rest day, I guess I would put it, because... Not a lot of people there. People are tired from the other two days. Saturday night, there was like a rave in quotation marks. There's this big caged area in front of the actual convention center that has like a stage and you can go inside and people are playing music and you can dance. And at night, you know, people bring out the LED sticks. I personally went like one time a few years ago for like five minutes. It's not really my thing, but if you're into musicians playing a bunch of like anime music or nightcore or Hatsune Miku remixes or whatever then they have that. But yeah, that's basically the Anime North experience. It is honestly just like a walking simulator where you're just buying thing from the thing you like. Like, uh, oh, I, I, I actually have one here. I bought this little Kiryu. <laughs> his little stand is his tattoo from the video games. Dame, dame. But uh, yeah, he's cool. This was like uh, 30 bucks, but it was in the artist alley. I don't regret spending that money for him because like, hey, somebody handcrafted this and I appreciate that. I did buy a couple other things, but I don't really have them on me right now. I think I left it in like a friend's backpack or something. I have like a little Kirby pin and stuff like that. But yeah, that's basically what Anime North is. It's kind of just like a shopping simulator. And then everything around it is probably the cool stuff that a normal person would be interested in. Like seeing their favorite VTuber or e-celebrity that lives in the area or going to a panel about a TV show they like, like Gundam or Critical Role or uh, Konosuba or like <laughs> I, one of my friends went to a, uh, how do I say this? It was like it was like a relationship advice panel about like examining like harem animes and stuff like that. It was <laughs> and she told me she was like, yeah, the first thing they started off with was saying like, hey, anime is fake. Remember that. Remember that anime is fantasy. And I was like, OK, this is actually kind of sick. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's basically the appeal of Anime North. Buying thing you like or going to a panel or seeing cosplays of thing you like. Years prior, Anime North was like very, very disorganized. I remember last year, there were horror stories on Reddit about people waiting like six, seven hours in line. But thankfully, this year and prior to the years where the world was inactive, but ignoring last year because of... <laughs> 
I feel like there were extenuating circumstances. Anime North has been steadily getting a lot better, especially with organization and events that are cool and interesting and, you know, finding its identity. So if it seems interesting to you and maybe you live in the area or you're just looking for a nice little convention, I'd say, hey, go for it. But uh, yeah, that's basically my thoughts on Anime North. One time, I recommend going with friends, especially just because, you know, it's an area and you don't want to get lost in it because <laughs> it is just a sea of people. But if you do go alone, I recommend having somebody nearby just in case you need to call somebody and you want to get like dinner or meet up or, you know, something unfortunate happens. I recommend just having somebody with you or nearby, you know, just in case. I always go with friends. It's always just a nice time going together and experiencing all these things about like, hey, whoa, it's going from Hunter Hunter. Or here's a way of the house husband manga that you've been looking for. Or you know what I mean? It just is a very nice time, whether you go alone or by yourself. I did see a couple of people walking around with just like AirPods in their ears, just going around, just like grabbing things and buying them. So if you're into that, I'd say go for it. But uh, yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. I'm not really used to this type of video <laughs> where I like review conventions. I'll be honest, it is kind of fun, but uh, let me know how I did. Maybe I'll do it again. <laughs> there are tons of events in Toronto that I'm interested in going in, but who knows? Either way, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.